What's up everyone, it's Anthony with A Crew Gaming coming at you in Satisfactory. As you can see here, still update 2. <laughs> um, they haven't done update 3, they did a update on update 3. Um, they basically said they'll keep updating us on update 3. So, um, just hanging out in Satisfactory, doing some more infrastructure stuff, getting ready for update 3. Um, and we're going to make some more towers so that we can get materials up to our, our mega base platform. I got that pretty much done. So. Come on, let's hang out and I'll show you a couple uh, tricks on circular builds. Alright, here we are at the mega base, <laughs> the start of it. And you can see I've got all of the roadway done out to the void. So I uh, built this massive tower here just to kind of show you the, the magnitude of this. So uh, they don't have a square game. <laughs> it's kind of irritating. So it kind of zigzags over in those corners, uh, trying to avoid the spots where you die so um but this is what we have built for infrastructure so far and then you can kind of see off in the distance um a couple of spots where there's a it looks like a, a block is missing um those are every 100 spaces so i've got one you know 100 200 and 300 and i'm going to build towers at least at the 300 one and see how that works as far as bringing materials up and then put the train stations there so that's what we're going to do i'm going to show you how to build these circular platforms um, kind of like the one that I'm about to fall to my death to uh, below me. Uh, I started that one from the bottom, so I was building on the ground, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, but I can show you, if you're already up in the air, how to build them in the air. This is where I'm going to start. I uh, figured I'd start with the building this tower so that I could get all the materials from my other base, uh, which is down there. Uh, over to my ba mega base, which is over there in the center. You can kind of see the bottom of it a little bit through the trees. Uh, some of the trees didn't render in it. I usually play this on the medium settings. Um, if you are kind of new to this, it, it does help a little bit until the game gets fully optimized. So um, just kind of a little, little quick tip. But So here's our setup for our circular build. Um, like I said, I'm going to build towers down so that we can get the materials up through the towers. And then I'll probably build a train station at this location to take everything to the middle. So um, you do need to start if you're up in the air. I recommend making sure you have plenty of uh, jetpack fuel um, because things could go wrong. But you kind of start with this this setup. Um, you're going to need to del delete some of these in a second, but uh, put one one space lower than the others. And then what you'll do is you'll jump down here and set an item in the middle, so you can kind of see where the middle's at, but just take uh, a spool. The spools are the best, they line up the best, so, and then just drop it. And I think I got it pretty, pretty close. And then stand on it. So you wanna be standing basically in the center of this, of this platform. Um, and then you're gonna delete <laughs> <laughs> the platform underneath you which sounds scary sounds like this should fall, but it doesn't So this stays as long as you don't jump off of this you should be good So from this point do not use the WASD key. So don't move your guy All you're gonna do is jump and place platforms below you um, But you cannot you hit your WASD or it messes everything up. So um, Let's delete all the platforms around us Otherwise, it'll just lock into one of them And then what you're going to do is you're going to line up with so it, there's a bunch of different locking positions so right now if you hit zero you can kind of see with the bubbles with the little circles on the platform if you use your scroll wheel you can move the platform one click so move it you'll move it one click jump and place it and it's way off of one click but that's all right so then you just place platforms on that. So I like to go three out. And like I said, don't use WASD. Just continue to scroll, turn your character with the mouse. And I'll show you why in a second. And you can see it lines up pretty good. It's off a little bit, but this is as good as it gets with this setup since there's nothing circular in the game yet. Okay. 
Now you're good there. You should be able to delete the platforms right around it. Leave the outside too. Delete the one underneath you. And then you'll go down back here and you'll hit your and then just click one time. So whether it's up or down, it doesn't matter. Uh, just remember what direction you go. So I'm going to go up, jump, and place a platform, and then wait for the auto save. <laughs> Perfect. And then you'll notice that you're one space off. And it gets kind of tricky when you got, but you can't move. So. You may just have to go out one. I probably should have deleted more. There we go. I think that one's connected. Nope. We'll delete more of this one. Because we're going to do all these anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll just give ourselves plenty of space here. These ones I want to keep here because they're level with the um, level with this platform. But we can delete these because I can come back with those the other platform. But I extended those off because those are going to go. Those are going to meet up with the other the other platform, and they're the same level as the rest of the the floor. So then we'll go back here at zero for our floor. And then place these in. You can see you just have to find an open spot on the on the platform, and it'll it'll click into that, lock into this one. And once you have this platform built, then you can build walls and everything off of it, and it makes a whole big circle here. And I don't remember how many I went out. I just went out until it wasn't. Um, wasn't registering anymore or wasn't still a circle. So you can go out for a certain amount of um, certain distance and then it becomes to where the, the gap on the outside is too wide and it doesn't doesn't line up anymore. And I'll show you that. So one click, jump, place your platform. And then set these. And you do that all the way until you have a full circle. Pretty simple. Like I, like I said, I can't stress it enough. You cannot hit the WASD buttons because um, it'll move you off center and it will mess everything up. So, all right, this last one is a little bit difficult sometimes. If you can just get these two in, um, yeah, if I have to line it up, you'll probably have to actually walk out to it. So once you have this where you're at your last one. Typically to get that third one in you'll have to have to walk out to it. So I'll show you that real quick here. So but before you move, <laughs> make sure this is your last one. Because once you once you move, you'll never be able to get uh recentered again. So it's it's very important that you make sure you have all of them um in place. So we've got them all in place. Now you can move. And you have to come out here and you have to kind of fiddle with it until you get this last one to line up correctly. And there might be another trick. If you know another trick, uh, throw throw a comment in the in the comment section below here. I'm not I don't normally have this much trouble actually getting it connected, so I don't know what's going on with it. Let's try this one over here. But like I said, you typically aren't gonna be able to get that one from the center. Um, you have to get it from the side here usually. And I could delete one, but that would put us in this. Oh, see, I had it for a second there. That would put us in the same spot. Like I said, I don't normally have this much trouble getting it connected. Usually falls right in. There you go. And be careful where you walk. <laughs> You've got a hole here. Like I said, that's why you uh, 
make sure that you have your jetpack with you. This one, I'm probably going to have to delete some of this. So I've got these sticking out here. For my other, because it's connecting to my other ramp. So. so there's that one. This side doesn't really matter because I'm going to use these platforms or these straight platforms. So. Oh, see, this one clicked right in. And then I lost it. There it is. One or two more. You just have to hold your nose the right way. <laughs> and it goes in there. Like I said, sometimes it's easier from below, so you might want to build yourself a little platform below. Um, and then it'll click in pretty easy. <laughs> so like I said it gets a little bit a little bit difficult so there's your full circle I always leave the outside too um, after we get to the final width so that when we start going down you have those wall pieces in place um, and you'll see what I mean this is not right There we go. So there's your full circle. The um, you'll you'll notice if something's off because um, you'll kind of see a funky shape. So it should all look consistent. Little tiny triangles there. I'm gonna delete this one too to make sure that we're all good. Um, but you'll see a different inconsistency in in the lines. But it all looks good. Uh, and then we can go out and make it wider. So you basically just line it up and try to get one on every single one. And it should be fairly easy until the last one, and the last one's always the I must say that. The last one's always the difficult one. It's always the problem child. There, go there. But you can see how easy it is to expand this. And it's off, I mean you, you can see it's off by just a tiny tiny bit. I haven't found anything that lines it up better than a spool um, so if, if, I mean if you know something that lines it up better a, a platform you know that lower platform if there's a maybe two small ones in a spool does better um, again leave it in the comments and, and let everybody know uh, kind of what works best for that but just extend this out however big you want it I mean if you just want it that that regular size or that small size um, that's no problem but I'm going to make mine as big as I absolutely can so that I can get as much storage coming up um, as possible. Let's go from this side. If you have an open gap like this where you're tying into your other platforms, um, try to work towards it and end on it so it makes it way easier to get everything to click into place. So you can kind of see here, as you start to come out further and further, this is as wide as you can make it without there being a gap between the platforms. So if we go out one more, you can go see what I'm talking about. It creates a gap so if you're okay with that you can go out as wide as you want um, but like I said that's this is really as wide as you can go without without having that gap and it it does come into play when you put the walls in uh, if you have walls set up on it uh, it looks a lot better when there's when there's no gap and everything fits perfectly in there um, as well as if you're gonna wall this up I recommend doing it this completely this length uh, or this size because um, the walls will overlap if you're smaller than this so getting the corners lined up perfectly like that allows the walls to just tie in perfectly together and makes the whole structure look 100% circular so it's a gives it the look I think that you're if you're gonna go through all this uh, I would assume that that's the that's the look you're going for is a, a circular structure so uh, this is the size I recommend. 
We'll go through, finish this, this is our last layer of expansion. And then we'll tie it into the other one. I'll kind of show you what to do from there. And again, you'll notice really, really quick if you have one um, in there incorrectly because it it looks really, really funky, uh, and it just changes kind of how the the lines go. So everything looks good to me. Let's delete all of these. So this is where you can delete your spool. You don't need your spool anymore. Um, just make sure when you're deleting stuff, you don't go crazy and. And delete your spool. Oh, actually, we have to go get the spool. <laughs> My bad. Uh, this is where you come in with your existing platform and make the center grid. I forgot you can't delete that. <laughs> delete the spool. You have to get close enough to pick it up. Am I close enough yet? There we go. Let's pick that guy up. Link this back up. So I just link it up the four ways. It finishes the circle that way. Finishes that way. Okay, now this is where you go through. And what I do is I delete, so I leave these outside too, so that if you need to come back in for any reason with that angle, you can. But I go through and I delete all of these. Because if you're trying to click things into place in the middle, uh, it's much easier if you have a 90 degree grid uh, of single platforms instead of all of these overlapping platforms to try to get stuff lined up. So go in and delete all of the ones that aren't. 90 degrees to your main platform. There's that. I've got the two outside ones all the way around, and then I've got the grid coming through the middle. And I'll drop these in. Like so. Also, if you leave, you really could just leave one on the outside uh, if that's all you want. Uh, the way I'm building this, though, uh, the there's two layers, so I put a wall in between the outside two, and then a wall on the outside outside, so that I can have that roadway that I that I have up there um, built in here as well. So. And also if you leave two, it helps kind of hide where you're, where you're overlapping. So none of these platforms stick out of the side. So, And there you have it. I'm going to fill in these two corners just to make it more symmetrical. Uh, a little bit OCD there, but that's all right. So now you can build uh, on this. You can build from it. Uh, there's going to be some things that you do that you're going to have to delete some of these outer platforms. Um, or delete some of the inner ones to get everything to line up on these outer ones but you just have to replace them back in um, I'm not sure what I'll do yet with the roadways that come in I didn't tie them in on the other one but I may just leave this little gap here and just make the center roadway gap you know the center roadway the main road so um, but that's it like I said it, it lines up do an auto save here It lines up fairly well. I mean, enough to where it shouldn't drive you too crazy to see um, to see the space in between them. But uh, that's it. Like I said, that's a circular build up in the air. Uh, that way you can kind of go up or down from here. I'm going to go down from here, so I'm going to figure out how to do that, and then I will uh, come in and show you guys how. It looks like I'm missing a row here, but I'll make it all square, <laughs> and then. Uh, and we'll go from there. So hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to try to do a live stream uh, with Satisfactory every Saturday or Sunday. Uh, it just kind of depends on my schedule. So 
hit me up on Twitter. Uh, that's probably going to be the best place. Scheduling wise right now is a little bit crazy. Um, the job I have uh, is, is a little bit strange and I can get shipped out uh, just about in any moment. So uh, I'll work on trying to get a schedule. I've been working on that for a year and I haven't been able to do it. So <laughs> it might just be an ongoing thing. But like I said, follow me on Twitter. That's where you're going to get the most updates and we'll see you in the next one. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and click the bell icon to get notified for every video my dad makes. Thank you for watching.